Hello, and welcome to this edition of Ask Dr. Robin. I'm Dr. Robin Silverman, child development expert and creator of the Powerful Words Character System. Today's letter is from Carolyn in Danbury, Connecticut, who writes, Dear Dr. Robin, I've seen many of my friends' children become very self-centered as they grow older. I don't want that to happen to my children, who are still young at ages 4 and 6. What are some ways to get my children thinking about others besides themselves? Now it's easy for children to get caught up in their own lives as life gets busier and busier and as they become older and more social. Just like you, I think it's important for children to be more well-rounded, not just thinking about themselves, but also learning to contribute to their community and to the world around them. So here are just a few ways to get them thinking about others. Number one, provide opportunities to give. Whether your children are giving of their time, like helping a neighbor carry groceries in, tutoring a student at school, or donating some of their treasures, toys, clothes, games, allowance, giving feeds the soul. I often ask people, when you look at what you have and you find that you haven't worn something in a year, two years, uh, but you are having trouble parting with it, are these things more helpful in your closet or would they be more helpful keeping somebody else warm, cool, dry, or able to go somewhere special like work? The same goes for old toys or old pots and pans in your kitchen. Are they useful for you or somebody else? Your children and your family will surely find that the more that they give, the better they'll feel and giving and contributing to the community will become a habit they love. Number two, don't give in to every whim. Their gimme get me attitude has to stop. When we overspend and overindulge our children, they become used to getting everything they want. Teach them to be grateful for what they have and become more in tune with those who are less fortunate. Number three, get them to open their eyes to cleaning up and beautifying their surroundings. A simple way to show citizenship and to become more empathetic and neighborly is to help keep our neighborhoods, our local parks, and our public areas clean and beautiful. Teach your children to pick up trash when they see it, um, especially their own trash that's lying on the ground. Help plant trees, clean off playground equipment, or paint community benches that are chipping. Obviously, you might need to get uh, some permission to do some of those projects, but go ahead and model this helpful behavior and your children will surely follow. You can even make it a game. Get a group of your children and your neighbors together, pick up trash in the neighborhood, and make group garbage sculptures. It's fun and at the end everyone gets to have this cool sculpture then they get to throw the stuff out and after awards are given for the funniest or whatever, pictures are taken, you've got a clean community. Next, make sure you contribute your talents. What's your family good at? Everybody's good at something. If they're good at singing, get them at a senior center and sing them a song. Something's going to brighten their day, day. If they're great at creating something, knitting, drawing, painting, help them to create a blanket to give away to a baby in need or draw signs for an upcoming charity drive. Their talents can be great contributions and so can yours. Next, say thanks. People are great citizens if they show gratitude for others. We don't want to take things for granted. Ask your children, who has made a positive impact on them in the community? Teacher, a coach, a, a, a police officer, somebody in the military? Have them write a card, a letter, send a gift to show their gratitude. Your children will learn that it feels really good to give and that the community gives back so much when we stay focused on helping others, not just ourselves. Now, these are great ideas to help you help your children become more giving citizens. Please continue to send me your questions, and it may just be featured next time on Ask Dr. Robin. This has been Dr. Robin Silverman, child development expert and creator of the Powerful Words Character System. I hope you have a very powerful month, everyone. Bye-bye.